Um, I thought I'd do a little, a little mini vlog. Um, I haven't done one in a while. Um, as you can see, it's um, well, it's roughly about half six. Gone, gone half six over here in the UK. And as you can see, the sky it's been a a lovely day today. Clear blue sky. The sun's been out. It's been like this for the past week or so. So obviously, people know that the UK is known for rain. So it's kind of make you make the most of it while while you can so to speak so anyway um so what, what i've been up to i mean i haven't been up to much really i mean uh, um i've been playing and playing a few a few a few games um i just finished up um gears of war 2 which i've been playing via the xbox series x and then i finished it up and i just uploaded um the final part today so it's basically all in nine parts um what i can say about it is is that there are a little few, few things that I don't like about it, right? For example, that I wish, wish the checkpoints were a little bit tighter, and um, I do wish right, that you could um, upgrade um, the weapons so that they'll be a lot more tougher. Of all, you can change weapons, but most of the weapons that you change, um, also you can get a shotgun, and then there's um, a bowl, so bowls are kind of different, so, so to speak. But I just wish you, you could do little things like that. That would have been, for me, the icing on the cake. Um, I do actually really enjoy the actual story in terms of what's going on, so I'm eager to um, see how the rest of it pans out with um, Gears of War 3, which I'm not going to sit down and play, play at in a moment. Um, for some, for a game that's kind of, well, for a game that's actually gory, it's kind of surprising how um, there actually are re really um, emotional parts in the actual storyline. Um, one of my, unless I was supposed to be out long enough, um, Especially the storyline involving um, the character Dom and regarding his wife, so that's kind of well, that was interesting to see the play. It's, it's not what how I thought it was gonna um, um how, it, how, how it was gonna go, but it's a very intriguing story. But it kind of leaves it on kind of a cliffhanger, obviously, for the um, the third part of the actual series. And as I know, obviously, there's Gears of War 3, there's a Gears of War Judgment, Gears of War 4, and there's Gears of War 5, so. It's gonna be interesting if the story actually completely you know, how the story kind of plays out. So I've been playing that. Um, also, I've been playing them Killer Instinct One and Two, the arcade editions um, via the Killer Instinct Definitive Edition on the Xbox Series X. So I'm playing that. But the usual catch I usually go for to play with is with, is with Jago and B Orchid. But I'm gonna try and see if I can. Um, um, you know, use the other characters, which I used which back in the day on the arcade and the SNES version of, of um, Killer Instinct 1 and also Killer Instinct Gold on the N64. I used to be really good at pulling off the combos and moves, but and the combo breakers, but I just need to get back in, get back into the groove. So, yeah, I've done that. And then I was it when I first played it because I haven't played it in months. I managed to um, finish it with Jago um, from start to finish without using the continue. Or losing around, so that was kind of great. So I was in my prime, my mind thing, thing there, but I have to learn how to do the ultras pr 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 um, properly. So in particular, I think um, I've um, I've got the rare replay game where um, you obviously you got all the games that that, that, that rare made one or well, not all the ones, unless it's Nintendo ones, of course. Um, and I've been pre playing um, pre I was having a quick go through through um. What's the name of that game called again? Um, I'm trying to remember what it's called again. Um, you alright? You alright? Yeah, I'm right. Are you? I just just bumped into an old um, school school friend. Um, trying to remember, um, yeah. So I've been playing Perfect Dark, which I remember, I remember having it on the 64 Obviously with the expansion pack, and obviously with this version, they've remastered it, so the graphics look a lot better. So I'm thinking of maybe doing that playthrough of that at some point because I actually like that. And then what I do like about that particular game is it's got games like Blast Corpse, which I never got to play on the um I never got to play on the N64, so there's a lot of games, so maybe one or two games off of that I might even do. So but that's my next big game. Um I don't know what I'm gonna play yet at the moment, because I wanna play something a game that's in a different genre to what I played before, i.e. Gears of War 3. Sorry, Gears of War 2. So I might sit there and play something a, li a, li a little bit different. Um, I picked up a, a couple of games 
obviously they're more uh, obviously backward compatible uh, all games on the, um, the Xbox, which is why I'm loving this Series X at the moment, and even same with this with this the Xbox One S, where you can get the backward compatible games. Sometimes it's the cheapest fifty p or even a, a couple of quid. And if you buy the digital version of it, for example, they're still charging you like um, maybe even if it from eight pounds to fifteen pound for it. Like for example, Fable to, um, Fable Two and Fable Three. I know they're doing it in a sale on it on Microsoft site store for seven forty nine. And one of the games I picked up for maybe for one fifty. I think Fable Two and Fable Three I picked up for one pound. And obviously it's back compatible, so that's a, um, a damn sight cheaper and that's for me the reason I mean the reason why for me I've never completely go all digital of all I know that that's where it's gonna go eventually so yeah so that's what I've been up to now I've just basically just been resting because I'm just feeling just feeling a bit tired and a bit drained lately so I have been doing um a lot of um stuff that I usually do so a lot of my videos have been been backed up videos that I've done so for example I did um a video of um, this light equipment I got, which I got at Christmas, but I forgot I had it, and then it was a pain in the ass trying to edit it because at the time when I was filming it um, on my phone, I was trying to pr press the stop button, and it wasn't, it wouldn't stop. So it took me a while to edit it. So because at the end of it, I said um, Happy New Year because obviously I recorded this just after New Year's because it's when obviously only on just just after Christmas. Obviously, I um, joy on Christmas Day. That's when I opened that because I opened it and then wrapped. Well, you know, it was wrapped up and then obviously I filmed it. So, um, so I can get on the other side of the road without killing myself. So that's what um, I've been doing. So I've got, I still got a lot of videos that I got backed up during Christmas. That I still need to upload, but just I don't want to um, run out of content or bombard people with. Um, with um you know with too much notifications of videos up so i just kind of want to spread them out equally so evenly so to speak so yeah so that's basically my plans and also my future plans for the channel are i wanted to start doing some more movie reviews and it's not necessarily going to be of um of the latest movies it might be a mixture of the latest and the, and the new movies or movies that old movies that i've got in my collection and maybe even new ones that i don't release if i do decide to get them so you'll probably see um, stuff like that but it's probably going to be a lot shorter it's not going to be totally in depth and then maybe one day um i would like to sit there and get back to watching films in cinema so what you will see if i ever go back to doing that is in my initial thoughts initial reviews of the video as i come out of the cinema so maybe one day that might be a thing so yeah i mean just expect to see um more unboxings or certain items, whether it's gaming related or beauty products or comics, which which when it comes to comics, I actually want to do a lot more comic book stuff. But just getting around to it, finding the time and the time to do it. So that's what I really want to do. So yeah, if you want to see stuff like that, um, and you already haven't, um, what you feel free to subscribe to my channel. And then obviously, if you do, if you can, and that would help out a lot. Um, feel free to drop a like that's all because that also helps so because obviously i'm a small time youtube and any youtube algorithms um are not so kind to our small um youtubers um so yeah i hope to you know my basic plans are you know to do more content and hopefully i really, really want my channel to kind of grow and maybe branch out into other stuff which is which is, which is, what, I, which is what i've already been doing so anyway um i hope people um like this vlog um I'm gonna sit there and go and enjoy the sun a little bit more and do a little bit of shopping. And speak to you all again soon, so take care, bye for now, and stay safe. Oh, and enjoy the sun if you're in the UK.